and Dr. Shaini Vashish, Assistant Professor, Delhi Teachers University. On the behalf of Delhi Teachers University, I welcome you to the third session of our FTP. For this session, we have with us Dr. Piyush Chaveria as the resource person who will be taking the session on the topic, exploring AI tools for the educators. Dr. Piyush Chaveria is currently working as Pro President, Sai Tirupati University, Udaipur, and also has additional charge of head of IT marketing, branding, and media. He served as Director, Faculty of Engineering at Pacific University, Udaipur, and headed Computer Science Engineering and IT Department there. He has done his Master's in Software Engineering from University College of London and Bachelor's in Electrical Engineering and has an academic experience of over 15 years. He has worked with ATEX, Europe's largest content management company, and has worked as an IT consultant to startups. He has researched in the area of cloud computing, algorithmic trading, and data science, and has spoken at various conferences, conducted workshops in Udaipur, Bikane, he has been awarded for outstanding achievements in engineering education by Institution of Engineers, Rajasthan State, Jaipur, and during the 33rd Indian Engineering Congress held at Udaipur. And he was honored with IT award by Mrs. Vasundara Rajay, ex-Chief Minister, Rajasthan. He is the member of IEI, ACM, IEE, and loves traveling and photography. Sir, I welcome you. You may please take up the podium and start your session. Dr. Piyush? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Th thank you, ma'am, for the introduction. And I would like to not waste time and come to the presentation. First of all, congratulations to you for conducting an impressive uh, faculty development program, uh, taking in record the, the latest technology. And I was a bit uh, surprised when I got an invitation from you seeing mm -hmm. that uh, uh, you're talking about something which is very useful for the educators in today's world. So great congratulations to you and I hope my session will be uh, focusing on AI and how AI can be used to for education. So it is a long, uh, uh, very vast thing. I will try to cover the most important the tools that is available. So just to start off with me, I will try to give you an introduction of AI, I think everyone is talking about AI and then at the end of the faculty development program, you will be very much clear about what does AI does, right? So, so let's uh, st uh, start with the basic definition of AI. As you can see, artificial intelligence refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans and mimic their actions. So what, as the name suggests, it's made up of artificial and intelligence. So what you're trying to give you, trying to give a, uh, give a, uh, trying to create an intelligence into a machine. That's what you can, in a nutshell, you can talk about. Coming back to, um, uh, so this is pretty much it. And as you can see a picture of Sundar Pichai, where he talks about artificial intelligence will have a more profound impact on humanity than fire, electricity, and the internet. So as you, it's rightly said, he said it three years back, but if you see right now, everyone in the school or teach uh, in anywhere, it's everyone knows about the AI. If you talk to your seniors in your families, they will also know about AI. So AI is there. And it is something that's not going to go away that easily. Now, how you can make use of AI, that's the most important thing. So in a nutshell, you can see well, what are the basic applications. It is present everywhere. If you talk about finance, of course, if you have to do trades, banking, everything is like gaming, of course, different avatars that you see, right? Astronomy, healthcare, transport, you know, you name it, agriculture, you know, for drones and everything, data collection, and then education, that's what we are going to talk about. E-commerce, classic example. Everyone is using e-commerce these days. 
and Flipkart and say Amazon, all is all about AI. I'll just give you an example how does AI works that if you're trying to uh, buy something on your, like browsing on a mobile, you know, and then you end up seeing it on your social media as well. So that's how AI works and it's not going to leave you until unless it, you buy that product, right? So that's the main target. Automotive again, uh, like the working of the machines, right? So classic example of AI would be in Tesla, right? Tesla uh, cars or every like this normal new new generation cars they're using. Social media, I gave you an example how it works, you know, trying to extract data and putting it to use for maximizing the profits of the companies. And then followed by data security, you know, how data security works. That's also a thing in AI because data, there are three, four, Terminologies that are trying to create a big buzzword in today's scenario. One being data analytics or data science, right? One being machine learning, one being AI. So they are all tried to uh, correlate it in some form or the other. Next. So I think these are uh, basic. I think we can skip this because I think uh, how artificial intelligence is shaping the future of technology that you can see. And the most important thing why Delhi teachers is university is trying to think because AI something is everywhere, right? And it is going to be stay there. And this is because we may be interacting with it on day to day basis. So everyone at this moment is using AI. You may not know how if you're using a mobile phone, you're using an AI, right? So that's a classic basic example is, you know, and a artificial intelligence, no match for natural stupidity. So that's how it works. So now coming back to AI in education, you know, artificial intelligence is growing rapidly in education sector, you know, and AI has to be, you know, there are pros and cons of both the things, right? So you need to take where, what advantage that you can take of AI is what is important to us and there are cons as well that we'll discuss in later on at some point of time but looking at this uh, and teachers can use it as an instructional tool right to develop and teach lesson plans you know make presentations if you required you know everyone is talking about chat gpt we'll talk about chat gpt also how it can be used you know and there are other incredible tools that are available that you can use for quizzes, grading, you know, and so you don't have to worry. You just create a quiz and then you get everything out of it. And then along with that, which student is performing, which part of the assignment very well, which where he needs improvement, you know, and where which other kind of questions can be sent to that student can work very well with them. So that's another way of doing it. So. Now, coming back to AI and role of AI, you know, so I, I've bifurcated into three, you know, that is a, uh, in three terms, you know. So one would be uh, advancements in AI, empowering educators through automation and AI enabled personalized feedback and process tracking. So, so if you see uh, the, uh, what we are trying to do is AI is trying to help the tutors and teachers and people in the ecosystem of uh, education to help students with their homework, provide explanations, answer their questions, at the same time develop educational related content. So the most important thing, how do you create a content based on uh, the requirements of the students, right? So that students take education as more uh, interactive and it becomes for you more engagement, right? Rather than teaching on the board becomes very monotonous at one point of time. So how do you deviate from that? That's also a thing that we need to keep in keep an eye. So looking at uh, what are the advantages of AI in education is personalized learning, time efficiency, enhanced student engagement and data driven insights. So AI can generate a lot of data which can help teachers to take a feedback and how does it uh, to take a feedback on the how students have fared in the exam, right? If you talk about personalized learning, you can create a content for one to one with students, right? So that's uh, depending on the requirements. And then time efficiency, because otherwise, if you don't use AI and you have to do these kind of things, it will take a lot of time to do it. 
so you can easily do it that's why so coming back to the main topic that we were here to talk about so what are the tools we i'll talk uh, few tools that are available you know and uh, how can we put it to use that we're going to talk up talk to you about it so uh, let's talk uh, so i i have a uh, couple of tools that are available so i'll talk these four tools in details and we try to do uh, something a uh, hands on way, uh, in this also right so let's start with um, edu8.ai uh, let me stop sharing and share the whole screen sorry for the glitch i'm trying to share it so so let's go to Can you see my screen now? No. No no no, no. no sir. No. no. Okay. Now? Yes. Okay. So uh, what we were talking about is uh, the Edumate AI and then we are going to go to this uh, how does this work so so if you go to eduad ai this is a paid tool but you can have a, a, a free access to it so as it uh, says that it is an ai platform that leverages data analytics and mainly to uh, how can you enhance the learning management uh, system of uh, your uh, university or school along with the analysis that is given coming from data analysis so if you go to uh, eduate ai dot this website you have to you can make just log in with your google account 
you can see what kind of content that you want to create right so if you see these are the first schools right but you can go to post secondary what do you want to create you want to create a unit plan i hope my screen is visible right yes yes my yes, screen is yes, visible sir. right okay yes yes sir. so now if you want to create a unit plan you can click on this right and then you can have a create a new resource you know and then this what we have done is that now here you can either import the content or you can put it like in in case of the feed that you want to give so if you go to this generator right and then you choose this right and then if there is something that is that is, that you have you can write the content here you can get it here from untitled and then you can get it copied and then you can create your own unit plan in this case there is other things also where you have like debates for people who want to create debates that also is workable make sure you have to this is again in free you will not get too many features but you need to have a paid account for it but it is very useful if you have a paid account with respect to this right so you can create your own um, lesson plans and uh, rubrics for uh, uh, assignment and uh, unit plans as well and then if you have given an assignment that will automatically get graded and automatically come to this with along with the detailed analysis that you want to see so this is again a uh, uh, tool that we we have it with us second tool that we are going to talk about is teacher bot the teacher bot is an online platform that provides teachers with tools again it is quite similar but it is more related to how can you uh, create quizzes flash cards to make uh, student learning more interactive and engaging and at the same time to enhance it to take it to next level so let's talk about teacher bot So I'm, what I'm doing is like I'm trying to give you a demo also, so that you know uh, it works very well uh, for you whilst using it as a hands-on experience. And if you want to do, you can do it along with me. now this subjects can be changed accordingly right so for example you want to do search for tools right so for you to see chemistry create and then you can put it like your resources and then for example you have a table right like uh, you put the content and then you can create and then ai will use it like for example you don't have to worry right create these are questions right now if somebody is trying now this is being worked right it's creating in the background see 
Now everything is created like this is for elementary schools that is coming out, but the same thing can be used, right? This content is created with respect to like okay, interactive periodic tables as given. So what you can do, how you can work with these students who want you want to teach at different level. So that is what. So if you are, can I have a background of in chat like what background you uh, are coming from? If you can. What background, what subjects are you teaching? That will be helpful for me. Heritage management. Hello. Okay. Yes. You can write it. Okay. Microbiology. Okay. Urban and regional planning. English literature. Okay. There is a brilliant tool for English literature. Please type in the website in the chat. Okay. Okay. So, so now this is a very important tool that we are going to talk about. I think how many people have used this tool chat GPT? Okay, I think most of the people know about chat GPT want to do hands on. Okay. Okay. Let's do uh, let's go to chat GPT. And uh, so there are various versions of chat GPT available, right? So if you want to let's I think it's very uh, uh, easy to use it. Like, for example, you want to let me pick somebody from management. Okay. Somebody wants to do education, okay? Education law, okay? Urban planning. Right, so I wrote like this thing, you know, with with respect to you, you know, you can start about This is what I wrote and then I got the answer from this, but this is, this is not totally that you can totally rely on, but this is what is there available. Uh, get there are some things that you may not find on internet. For example, you get stuck somewhere. So you can think about it of using it on the, this platform. Any questions regarding chat GPT if somebody has used and wants to ask regarding here. Which is the feature in chat GPT which uh, gives uh, the analysis of a big content when it is uh, pasted on it and uh, or we can say comprehended form. You want the summary or what? Ha, summary. You can write it like if you have content then uh, see if you go here. Say, if you want to get a summary of a book, then you can post the book here and then you can get it. 
Okay. I I am not able to get, get like what what you want the summary of this content. Yeah, if like you want, huh? If you, you want summary. To, summary is that so uh, you what you need to do is you, you have to uh, get it. You know there is another tool that I can talk about where you get summary of the whole book. Now, uh, which is that tool? I am showing you one. Give me you. the thing what you can do is you can use the chat gpt also in this case so what you have to do is just you have to attach here right upload from computer and uh, uh, upload the whole uh, book in pdf form and then in some time you will get it here as a summary like this if you do and then you put it so if you have something that you can uh, do it like you can do it from here and then you have to write it like okay summarize book title for example any book that you have like say um mm, any book that you want to write You don't have to even not upload also. Don't. So here you go. and if you want to read you can even ask it to so you don't have to worry so this is if there if there is any specific book ma'am that you want to uh, upload you know that that is there a uh, chat gpt generate for the same and uh, you, that's what uh, somebody has mentioned in on the chat also quillbot i'm coming to quillbot and grammarly for the same as okay. well grammarly yeah but uh, that's what how Ch chat gpt can work and if you have a book that you want to upload upload it and then you can get the summary okay and thank then you uh, if, if you upgrade it to this plan that that is that you get all these kind of access to these things all along so this is a free version that we are talking about it doesn't have a data analysis and everything when you go to up upgrade you get uh, better uh, content as well and advanced data analysis you know and even you can upload images and all those things images can be scanned and give you to that thing right any questions anyone else has ha co pilot as well so next is tom.ai so tom.ai is again web based ai tool that creates presentation one pages mood boards that that you can use you know and if you want to have some video contents interactive that also can be uh, used you know some visual content that you need to have it for your presentation that also can be used so let's go to tom.ai tom.ai
so as you can you know you know you can um, personalize with ai in this case it's still loading let it load first and then It's done loading so so this as you see on the screen right so let's uh, we can do a demo also so what we have first of all it's the best one of those tools where you can start making your presentations you know if you want to do a presentation then you can just put the presentation use this template there are templates available that you can use right for uh, writing this and but at the same time you can make it for use cases for like for example you want to create a in while it so these apps sometimes work very these applications works very well with uh, mobile uh, apps as well so whatever tools that we are discussing every tool has its mobile application we'll come back to this at uh, as it get loaded and then we'll come back and then there are other tools that we are available that is format formative.ai right so formative.ai again is a tool that is useful for you as uh, you can uh, take it as for questions assignments and hints with like for for uh, solving with students right so let's uh, go to Sorry for the it. I think there's a breakdown here in terms of electricity so So if you see this again how it works you can see it like you can even instruct it using uh, uh, so you can auto grade like this you can put a pdf upload the pdf and then you see the pages that that comes here and then you can easily get the answers that are workable so you see it even in answer reading questions you can pick out the questions and uh, during the comprehension and you can pick even if you see this how it works and then you can get it like so it's more in, interactive way of solving for the students you know so like for example you want to promote 
mathematics wise so you get it here and then you can do it so if you see let's uh, see how it works like you can pause it true false and then here if you use your pdf upload it upload and then page 1 question 1 will be automatically formed on the based of this so you don't have to worry too much about uh, thinking about these kind of things in future so formative ai is one of those tools that we see in today's next is as we see is a, a tool called class point so class point if you go to class point dot io So you go to class point uh, uh, dot io, and then it is way of uh, making it more interactive with respect to your presentation, right? So this is how it works. So if you do AI again, it has interactive. So whatever presentation that you are giving, giving, right? If you see this, you know this is a. Uh, presentation that you are giving and then at the same time you can get it like analytics of your quizzes on this of course this is again some things are paid some things are uh, free for you so in this case you can use it like this so again fill in the blanks that can be generated from here that that you can see so you can see explore quiz types it's very good for creating quizzes and all those kind of things So next is again QuerePod. So QuerePod is again AI tool that you can use it for again uh, better way of interpretation of AI. So if you see this. and then how is the feedback mechanism working using ai right so what do you associate so these kind of the creative art uh, designing can be done with using qripod you know so and it has version for school as well you can get it for free for some schools and then it's more about how can you create content that is more interactive with the students next is quillbot i think mo most of the people have used quillbot so let's uh, it's a uh, extension of what uh, grammarly has been doing i am not discussing grammarly but yeah it's a paraphraser checker and the grammar checker plagiarism checker and ai detector and even a summarizer here so it is very advanced tool and uh, if you want to you this is all working based on ai so it works very well uh, with this so this is an equivalent to what grammarly is doing so quillbot and grammarly is quite similar i think most of you must have heard the name of grammarly more but quillbot is being also being uh, getting popular these days see i think there is a question that uh, Ah, okay. There are questions that have come up. 
So how can we come to know that content provided by chat GPT is authentic or not? And more, what is the remedy for this? So as of now, how does uh, chat GPT or any AI tool is working is based on the content that is available on the web, right? So they are trying to fetch the content from the web and making it uh, making it authentic with based on the content that is available on way, uh, different different platforms. So what you are getting it on your at the uh, end is a content that has been verified not according to you but it is verified because it has been existing on different different uh, platforms right so that is one thing it is as of now it's like yeah authentic uh, i have not felt that it is something that whatever i've used till now that is my experience i'm taking and then what is the remedy for this like so if you're using ai then these contents like people can get caught like for example if somebody wants to write uh, uh, thesis about these things right thesis of your whole PhD on this that is not suggestible right so that is your authentic work that you want to do and you can't copy it from somebody else right so that is the uh, importance that you uh, feel so you need to see where you want to use it and what level you want to use it Right. So, for example, you want to get a summarized version of a book, that is fine. If you want to create an uh, article based on something that you need know, then it, that is also fine. So, that, that's what you want to keep in mind. What level of uh, content you are creating that you have to do. You can't ask a chat GPT to create a research on, say, what is happening in the oceans with respect to uh, the garbage that is coming. That will You will get the content, right? But again, where is the facts that have been verified? It is coming. So at the, if you see chat GPT at the end, gives you the sources, right? So these are the sources. You can verify those sources, whether they are authentic or not. And then if you want to use them for further thing, then you can use go ahead and use it, right? So that's, that's what you need to keep in mind while uh, using it. Okay, now there is another question. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, all these AI tools are free for a short duration. Can you uh, suggest free? I think, see, these all companies have uh, made, are there in the market, so they want to make money out of it. So there are very few, I think the one of those popular is like Gemini you have, like from Google, right? So that is also an AI based tool. But that is also a tool that is available. So uh, equivalent to Gemini, you have a tool, right? So that that that's uh, one thing that you can think about. You know, the if you see and go to. So this is again a chat GPT version of it and it is uh, totally free of cost so you can start using it like Okay and uh, can, did I answer your question, uh, uh, Devi Rohit? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There are another tools that you can use. Uh, they are like uh, copy AI and all. But I think you need to make sure that the uh, AI market is super buzzing. So you need to be very specific about what is the level that you want to go ahead and use it, right? So which tool uh, makes you... Some people will talk about making presentations on using AI tools. You know, there are tools that are available that makes uh, PPT... Uh, AI generated, right? So if you go to this tool called uh, um, called 
ppt.ai or uh, you can go to presentations.ai you know so if you go to presentations.ai you will find it like the ppts can be generated i think and this fact will not uh, see now if this is generating a ppt template for teaching right and then how it works so this this is what you can start making it and or if you want to have more a there's a spelling mistake Uh, this is again a, another beautiful dot ai or you do uh, this thing so you can try it for free and then at some point of time it will so the, if you would want it will generate slides for 6 7 slides only and then if you want to do it then it will work for more right and this is beautiful dot ai you know uh, one of those better versions where you can start creating like there are more tools than looking at time you know so uh, let's let me summarize and then we can talk about some more tools that the people were talking about so if you talk about presentation wise there are tools available you can try for free but it generates slides up to 13 or 15 look, looking at your content that you have right if you want to do major content presentation say, okay so this is what it does generated make your slide with the impact of social media on youth i right wrote so you get okay you get it like this okay so these are slides that you can get and then you can get it and then paste it in your slides so okay so so it's a very simple way to uh, using it for using beautiful to dot ai and then you can use this also so these are again a free tool that is available for this so in the end like i would uh, say that ai can revolutionize education in schools and universities and you know what is the base, be best advantage of using ais in these kind of uh, ways is that that it helps us to uh, uh, make uh, it helps us to uh, make it as more time efficient right and uh, accurate with respect to content as as there is a uh, concern over what ai can do with respect to jobs and all those things but keeping in mind that thing ai will go and hand in hand with respect to your content generation and everything right then you have a personalized learning experience because you can get the data and use the data and uh, make it more uh, appropriate with respect to what you want to showcase right so that is also important thing that you have it in front of you and then uh, you have a uh, valuable uh, data as well data analysis available but at the same time there are potential challenges that are available in front of you you know so as one challenge was al already f thrown across like is it uh, valid or uh, thing you know and how much we can re rely rely on ai right re after all it's also a machine right so uh, comparing it with the human being the efficiency will be higher because it can uh, it doesn't have a time limit to work right it can work all 24 into 7 right and then 
uh, with respect to results of course results are accurate because if you want to get the results out of student assignment that is coming out of with the with a formula that is uh, front in front of you for example you are asking to summarize a book so in the book that uh, uh, in the end uh, x kills y the x kills y will be as a summarized version of it it will be not y x, y killing x right so chances of these errors are very less you know so that is how you know they are self driving cars that are working they are all based on out of all ai right so the data that is captured because there is no driver sitting it and how uh, how uh, intelligence is being picked up and you are driving the car so as of now there has been no accidents by self driving cars without drivers right us there were people there have been accidents but there were uh, accidents of self driving car when people were driving it so there was one initial accident that happened that one guy was trying to uh, park the car so he was not able to do it and using self driving or using the uh, using uh, using that car to drive it right so that accidents are happened so accuracy wise it is fairly very good so there are no problems in that case and uh, try it out i think it is a great uh, fun uh, working out with your students you know all being you all being assistant professors to professors and teachers so i think uh, it is very uh, thing and it is a tool that i think you must have uh, you might enjoy while uh, had it been there during your times so you would have been uh, uh, enjoying it more you miss that thing a lot right so had it been uh, teaching that way and especially with boring topics and everything and if you try to bring ai and funny things and try to incorporate with videos it works very well so uh, this is uh, things that uh, i wanted to talk of course for, to start off you can start with using chat gpt so i would like to thank you everyone and if you have any questions then we can take those questions Yeah, there are tools available for different PPT also. Somebody is uh, uh, suggesting me Gamma dot AI. That's also uh, workable. That if you have those tools, so that is uh, you can use that thing to uh, work that way. So it's uh, it is workable in that case also. There are various tools available. Then again, depending on your uh, utility and your uh, uh, comfortability and what you want to use, then it is uh, works very well. any more questions you can just uh, ask questions by unmuting or just drop it on the chat or if you face any questions later on you can just uh, drop me a mail participants if we have any questions please ask we have a question sir it's in the chat box yeah Okay, could you please suggest an open source tool for disc evaluation of automated? Um, okay, so the uh, did you do you mean like uh, okay, descriptive tools is still I think it's a challenge, right? So again, uh, you trying to uh, use descriptive, then then again, how does it work well? But there are options that are available that uh, for. Uh, using descript descriptive uh, questions you know you can try this tool called i had a tool i don't remember the tool you can try they are uh, open source acha you want open source okay not sure about open source i can get back to you about this because i think so i will not suggest you to use ai with respect to descriptive but if you want to use then go ahead and uh, you can check check these all plagiarism tools and all those things but getting it evaluated is a challenge right so uh, i think how does it you can break it into two parts you get the content and then you uh, get the content you get, use it for plagiarism check and then you evaluate it so Uh, not i will uh, my recommendation is, is not to use it but uh, you can uh, there are tools that i've heard about i don't remember it right now but i can share it later on 
can we upload our ppt for more then yeah you can upload get it designed version that's what you want like uh, so there is a question from dr sindhya so yeah you can upload your ppt for your perfection getting it using these tools that is not a f- uh, problem you know you can uh, upload your ppt and get it corrected right that's what you want or errors or you want the designing aspect that you want to yes yes sir yes yeah so you can use these yes. tools that we talk about and then you can uh, get it more interactive version you know you get it more uh, d- designed version upload ppt and then yes sir when we limit upload the number of slides ha the you can use this tool called uh, uh, beautiful.ai that that is workable you can use beautiful.ai okay thanks or you there is another uh, there is a tool called wonder slide okay so you can use wonder slide.com i'll write it here okay there are, what are the subject specific ai based free and open source for free verse e service teacher <laughs> can you uh, can you elaborate this question mr subhash uh, subhash shri das okay so for course works uh, or these tools you know these are um, basic tools that uh, are available that i have t- talked about so they these are the all tools that you can use it for pre service teachers like free and open source again you know and then gemini can be one of those tools that we can use it okay for ai tool for uh, ancient indian text okay So I think all these text works very well with like if you wanted to use uh, chat gpt that also can work with the uh, ancient uh, indian text also they are pr- professional versions that are available that allows you to use this you can use gemini and uh, chat gpt and different versions for uh, indian nation they are provided they supported so there are support uh, versions are available so you can uh, think so there are languages specific they are coming into many languages on vernacular so then then say yeah. as of now i think chat gpt supports bengali gujarati hindi kannada malayalam and marathi these are the languages that are available right and asian if you want to talk about devnagari or something like that or sanskrit that is not available frankly speaking excuse me sir yes uh sir uh, i have a doubt um suppose you prepare an abstract for a, a journal uh, for a, for a, you are you are writing a manuscript and you have prepared an abstract you want to check uh, the plagiarism of that particular manuscript or the abstract you upload that for plagiarism checking in in these kinds of softwares um and will it become available to the public later because it's my concern because i i i if if, if, if it is not getting accepted in one particular journal i take it put it for the next journal suppose when i upload it and check the plagiarism if it becomes up, uh, uh, available to the public then uh, that becomes a um, greater destruction for my uh, uh, work so what should i do under this uh, circumstances okay so the, i will answer it with respect to uh, counter question you know first of all this depends on what tool are you using right so if you are using turn it in or uh, plag uh, plagiarism or gram uh, plag check or plagiarism checker or grammarly there's an option that is available don't forget to tick that option right so when you are trying to check like for example if i have a thesis and i want to upload and check the thesis 
and my plug check comes to be 20 and next time again i want to recheck then it, it it is not that thing that it is available to the tool and it will say it is 100% available already so you need to keep in there is an option of checking it that uh, in that case it is only for one time that you are trying to check and that that is a thing so check for the right option that is available otherwise it will be taken as, as a uh, resource or the content will be available for everyone right so uh, what you have asked is a wonderful question make sure you use the right tool right and what is the right tool the best tools that are uh, available with your universities the best one is turn it in try to use it turn it in so there is a uh, Urkund as well, you can use Urkund. So these are the good tools that are available in these things. So you can check and get your answer back. So you can use that. Sir, uh, what is the option I have to ensure that it is clicked so that it doesn't go to the public? What what okay. option should option. I ensure? I can share the option of turn it in. I don't know about others. I will share it. So options are the let me no repository so you have to keep in make sure no repository there is an option of available there is no repository so you do make sure that you check check that option so in that case it will be not stored in the repository right and it will be as soon as the check is complete it is the content is gone away okay so you need to check I have written in the chat also. Uh, sir, uh, is this no repository check goes with all the tools, whether it is turn it in Urkund or whatever it is? Yeah, is I think uh, that is available with all. You need to uh, keep uh, look for it, you know. Okay. So, See, I think the one option is like you don't use this, uh, you have to make sure that no repository is checked. Plus, and if you are using a university level thing, you know, by the way, by the, uh, the, the content gets uploaded while checking, you know, you, you can ask your administrator to delete it. So he has the other option. If you make a create, commit this mistake, it can get rectified by asking your administrator to delete it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. So I think this option is available with almost everything. So not should not be an issue. Any other question? Do we have some more questions? Is this a question? Written for content of chat GPT can be written for generals. Is this a question? Uh, yeah, you can check it like if you're trying to use the content you know like i i have already addressed this question you know content for these uh, chat gpt and ai tool should not be used for uh, uh, the research work you know and but if you want to write for generals and everything you can try to use it there are tools that are available that are ready to check what how much ai generated content are you using because ai was ever since the chat gpt came into picture people have started using it intensively so what uh, universities in us has done that they are trying to check whether your content is generated by ai or not so that tool is also available counter So if you have uh, these kind of uh, tools that 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 is coming so i think to answer your question in nutshell you know whether you can use you can use it depending on some content you can use it mix and match but 
not the whole content that is uh, written by ai and claiming it to be written by you you know so that is uh, w- what can not be used you know so you cannot claim anything that has been returned by machine and claiming it to be yours you know some content like like paraphrasing and all those things that you're trying to do it with respect to them then it's fine you can use them i hope i answered your question uh, so there is another uh, question for any tool for audio okay audio okay or transcripts of audio okay so i think yeah you can use chat gpt you know so, so uh, you can put the audio that you can upload the audio and then it will end up giving you uh, giving right so um, uh you can even uh, use this uh, app called assemblyai.com that works very well and if you if you have uh, let me put it here yeah so many the many tools are available where you can share the youtube link it will get you the content out of it and that is available so that's also workable in that case you get the content out of youtube and everything it works well is data secured in these tools yeah is data is secured like i think what people talk about data is secured there is no chance of uh, because they are they are driven by a strong data privacy act you know so unfortunately india didn't had any act before this last year the lok sabha and rajya sabha passed an act on data privacy we were not on strong on that front but these are all governed if you are using a, a multinational app that is available uh, across the uh, uh, across in, uh, like abroad then of course you they are driven by data they cannot steal your data so they are uh, governed by that so there is no problem in this okay so ai tool for again matlab what do you want to do in lit- i missed a question ai tool for literature review so i think there is a very uh, like you can use these uh, tools that we have already talked about grammarly and others that uh, for literature based uh, thing even I, so that that works very well and if you have any option you know you uh, turn it in and all those things so that works uh, things well so there is another um, uh, you can uh, i think there is one tool that i used i don't remember it's called um, i think something with z zotero or something that you can use it for literature review okay how can we create demarcation line between teachers and students mean if st- st- teachers present whatever content with the help of then students can do by own and what is the role of teachers so what you are trying to use is like you have to be very specific what you are trying to use ai to right and if you want to create an AI, you you're not trying to create all presentations by ai right and if you are trying to create presentations by ai you need to have your own input in it right it is not that you would blindly uh, then what is the use of a teacher while teaching right that's a big question that comes out so uh, what it needs to be that what demarcation line you use it to enhance the get rid of the monotonous uh, behavior of teaching at the same time you make it more interactive and at the same time it it helps you for uh, 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 efficient use of your system right or your uh, network right so that's how it works so you need to keep in that in mind right you cannot totally blindly trust on ai and sit at home and then you do nothing right so people have uh, started using chat gpt for everything once you start using it at okay this content has to be done okay i want to post something on social media let me get a good caption for uh, uh for my image on social media let's do it so that's that's fair enough but when you trying to do it with respect to say there you have to analyze the levels that are available research of course how much ai you can use in research that is another level you need to be careful in that with respect to teachers uh, t- teaching with students yes yeah and you will see students are being uh, are over smart these days they they have to write an application to teacher they will come and write an application using an ai right why they will try to waste their time in typing it 
so it's very easy i write an application just tell ai i write leave application for sick leave and then you get a application done so what you are trying to with respect to your content be careful what you want to use you know to, don't blindly be uh, totally trust on ai and uh, tr- uh, do it so that is a demarcation line when it comes to uh, something which requires your interference then yes and when it comes to grading assessment that to totally believe on ai or blindly believe on ai when it comes to uh, grading of descriptive uh, questions don't trust ai right so you need to that's your job right so that's how you can uh, create a demarcation and here and and then students can do their own so yeah i think yeah, to, there are a lot of things happening changing So there is a people uh, sorry i think we have exceeded the time but i'll uh, sum up in last so there was like yeah uh, there will be a time where you don't need teachers right and as of now if you look uh, there is a time where of course everything is available on the web and students can learn their things and get it done so there is a big question mark on that as well that is existing so uh, yeah take your call i think uh, we as teachers are very intelligent enough to do and then wow, how much we need to get rid of uh, how much we want to use technology and that's us to decide thank you dr piyush indeed it was an engaging session mm-hmm. and the amount of questions proved that so you introduced us with so many new tools that we didn't know about चार जी पी टी और गैमा ये सब हम नॉर्मली यूज करते हैं बट बहुत सारे आपने और भी टूल्स हमें बताए विच वॉज रियली इंटरेस्टिंग टू नो अबाउट एंड आपने अलग अलग टूल्स के बारे में भी बताया फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पजेज फॉर रिसर्च फॉर प्रूफ रीडिंग फॉर डेटा एनालिस एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा तो थैंक यू सो मच इट वॉज वेरी एंगेजिंग सेशन एंड विद दिस वी क्लोज दिस सेशन and participants for tomorrow the first session will start at 11 am and the meeting details uh-